Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday was one of the most insane days of FIFA Ultimate Team, honestly, like all year. The packs that we saw yesterday with saved packs, with just the high quality packs for like all of the team of the season cards, Summer Stars, Path to Glories, and packs. It was nuts. Badge 3 being out brought everybody back onto FIFA 21. Opening packs, saved packs, swaps, packs, everything, man. Packs, packs, packs is what yesterday was. I want to talk about how that impacted the market and some of the content that we had too and how that could even be seen and continue affecting the game into today on Saturday because some cards went low, bounced back, but now they're even going lower than before. We're seeing crazy low prices on cards that we thought were already pretty cheap and... They're now dead cheap, so it's crazy to see that stuff happening. I honestly think that yesterday on FIFA for a lot of people was, hey, I'm going to rip my final packs, buy my endgame team, and I'm out of here. And I'm going to use this team, maybe play the weekend league with it, but then I'm done. I think a lot of people reached their end of their FIFA 21 ultimate team journey, especially with the beta being out, especially with it being in the middle of August. I mean, look at this. Live transfers on the PlayStation market, 835000 that is so low, it's criminal, right? It's crazy how few transfers are on this game. I don't even know. I don't even want to know what it is on Xbox. It's got to be crazy low. Anyways, let's take a look at the content from yesterday and some of the stuff that surprised us. And of course, we'll head into what that meant for the market as well. First things first, though, we got surprised once again with an Abamyang SBC from the footies vote. And of course, EA here with the Premier League tax hitting hard. As well, Arsenal losing 2-0 yesterday to Brentford. That was a, a very interesting start to the Premier League season. Um, but a 5-star, five 5-star five bombing, 10 squads with an 88, 87, and 86 as a part of the requirements. So they went with like the low-tier gold SBCs, right, to start things off. Gold squad, rare gold squad, 80, 81. But then they kicked it in with the high-rated squads at the end. 771,000 coins. By the way, how did this card, how did Aubameyang get more votes than Martial? I don't understand. The GGMU did not pull through. I don't understand it. So I don't know how that happened, but almost 3,000 downwards for Aubameyang. This is just way, way, way too overpriced. I mean, this card on the market would probably be, in my opinion, if he was like a Summer Stars, probably like 400K, maybe 500,000 coins, probably still less than that. He's 760K through an SBC. I know the five star, five star is big, but I think that was way too overpriced yesterday. But EA can get away with this right now. And I wanna talk about that. With so many icon swap packs, so many of the 85 times 10s, people have tons of fodder and they're just looking for stuff to do with it, right? They're, get, they're getting cards unassigned and they're just doing SBCs because they have cards to do them with. They're starting on those SBCs. They're doing icons. They're doing, you know, some of these that are even overpriced. EA is kind of sucking you in because they're giving you a bunch of extra cards. And then they make you want to finish that SBC since you have that extra stuff. So, Abiyamiang was an L yesterday. Um, Smalling is a decent W, right? I mean, this is a good looking card. If you get it done and you use it in the Serie A Weekend League, it's kind of nice. Of course, there's a little bit of your GGMU luck, I guess. And it looks kind of expensive, but in the actual scheme of things, uh, it comes in on Footbin at 250,000 coins, which is not bad and very craftable since it's only three squads. 600 upvotes, pretty good looking card, good links, not a terrible SBC. We'll give EA some claps for that one. That was a GG. But the big SBC that everybody was on about again is that Footies player pick, this time from Batch 3. With, of course, the 99 rated cards that are in packs, the potential that you have for some insane items through this player pick. Now, these are really hit or miss from what I've seen. We packed a 98 Acuna from a share play on stream, but other than that, you know, some of them were just like all 90 rated Tots cards, like Tottich was one of the best ones we got. So definitely hit or miss, but with upgrade packs this week, this could be a fun grind. Same with the 87 plus times 10. These were the most insane packs yesterday. And the crazy thing is, when you open these packs up, TOTS cards actually pop first because I think they have a higher quick sell value. So when you're open a pack like the, the 84 times 20, which I still have, that I'm going to be saving up. If you open a pack like this, you're probably going to see a TOTS card come out first. And then your Path to Glories and Summer Stars will be behind it, which kind of has a bit of more fun to it, honestly, with like a suspense factor. So that's pretty exciting. But that's, if you were wondering, I think that's that's why that is happening um, on the game. Now, one more thing about content yesterday. The Amavi objective did get dropped. Five star weak foot. And again, this is another SBC, or sorry, objective. Another footies card 
that is pushing us towards that League One kind of grind that we think next week is going to be. With the Amavi that has been released, the Fabregas with the Gelson Martins, I'm going to say it, today EA Sports would be a fantastic day for Renato Sanchez, all right? Renato Sanchez, usually Saturdays are player SBC days. It'd be a great time, absolute prime time since we had the footy's March favorite. I believe that uh, foot birthday, Renato Sanchez, was in April. If you wanted to release a footy's April favorite, you could just drop our Renato Sanchez today. Uh, as a part of the Saturday content, and you can make it expensive, and people would do it because they have the fodder. So all I'm saying, EA, the ball's in your court. I think this is a perfect time for them to drop that SBC, pushing everybody towards League One for the potential weekend league requirements that would come out next week, and just the timing with the fodder and everything. People have tons of cards, and a Renato would be a huge SBC that a ton of people would like to see. So while we're on the topic of content for today on Saturday, though, one thing I am 100% expecting to see would be another repeatable, maybe not repeatable, but an upgrade icon SBC. We've had the 92 plus icon moments player pick multiple times now. I think today, I hope they drop like two or three different icon upgrade SBCs. I mean, we have all of these different packs that have been added into the game through swaps. EA, just, just give us a 93 plus icon moments attacker player pick. Drop that as an SBC in this game drop the 94 plus uh, attacker or mid pack just do something like this 94 plus primer moments player pick like do something maybe like that um the the primer moments attacker i don't know i mean hopefully not prime or moments just give us a prime moments only so moments only pack or pick i think that is something that we will 100 percent see today a new one of those um and that's probably going to be the content for today on saturday if i'm being completely honest a new one of those icon upgrade packs maybe a new player SBC. I doubt we'd get another objective. Um, and then maybe some sort of other like one-time non-repeatable upgrade pack. If they did like an 86 plus player pick or something along those lines, that could be something that we see today on Saturday as well. But of course, with all of that, the packs, all of that conversation that happened yesterday, there was a lot of moves on the market. As we expected, a lot of cards absolutely tanked in price, specifically some of these Path to Glory items. With the consistent supply, and I guess just not a lot of demand, you saw these guys continue dropping. Take a look at Havertz, right? 315K, 295 sitting on the market. I mean, Griezmann is one that just dropped so much. This guy's 220,000 coins, I believe, right now. 206 for Griezmann. These cards are just getting packed and packed and packed and supplied. It's nuts to see some of these drop-offs. It happened, of course, to the cards that were re-released. Some of them have bounced back a little bit. Militao is back up. Um, but some of them also went up and then have come back down, which is very, very interesting. I think there's some people that were investing and trying to flip. And if you did not get out quick enough, the supply just overran the demand in the game yesterday. This Paredes was a, uh, 180K yesterday. He was around 150 of the content drop. Right away, 6 p.m. UK, with the packs being out, Paredes gets panic sold and supplied down to 110K where he is right now. He rebounds back up to 150. It's hard to see on this graph. It doesn't show you, but he went to 110 right here, rebounded back up to 150. And then again, the panic and that supply just came in hard and he went back down to 113 where he is now. That happened on so many cards yesterday. They had a big drop, then a short rise, then an even bigger drop after that. Foden happened. Uh, that is exactly what happened with Foden. I bought a Phil Foden card yesterday for 355,000 coins, sold it literally 20 minutes later at 477, got the frick out, and he's now back down to 400,000 coins. I bought Chiellini at 170, sold it to 10. He's back at 170. Bought Locatelli at 50. He went to 65, back at 50. Spinazzola went from 60K to 77, almost 80,000 coins, and now he's 48K. So you had tons of fluctuations, fluctuations yesterday. And since these cards are just continuing to drop lower, as we take a look at these Path to Glories, like the Griezmann, who started at almost 500K today in the high 400s and is now just trickling down, trickling down, it just goes to show and it tells me that the demand for people playing this game is just not there. Whether it's people playing the beta, whether it's people playing uh, or that they, they bought their end game teams and they're done for the year or whatever it is, people opening their last few packs and leaving the game. There's just so much right now that just points to the sign of the game being closer and closer and closer to done with, right? So it's crazy to see how much these prices have dropped off. I do think 
that some of these summer stars and path to glories have gotten a little too cheap. I do think they have for like today. I'm kind of watching this Yorente to see um, to see, he was in the 380s. If he would go back there again, I might snag one. Some of these cards might bounce back up a little bit. They might bounce back up a little bit this morning on Saturday with people just seeing how low they're getting. They might just go out and, and try some of them, man. Like, especially for the Serie A weekend league, some of these guys have gotten so, so cheap. Keelini, again, went to 210, 215,000 coins. This Chiesa card was down at 299K. He went all the way up to uh like 340 i think and then it's now back down to 270 so tons of fluctuations on most of that side of the market now there were a few exceptions to this rule yesterday and it was the big boys it was the big boys there was so much panic selling on these big guys the 99 rated cards right before the content drop that was the best time to get them right then you saw huge price explosions after that, I think, I mean, of course, we didn't expect the 99s to get packed that much today. I knew they were coming into packs. I knew there was going to be some panic, and there definitely was. Take a look at Ronaldo from 2.4 mil down to 2.2. Exploded literally up 600,000 coins on the PlayStation with people buying him back because it didn't get supplied. And so many people had panic sold earlier in the day. They needed him back for their weekend league team because he was going to be cheaper, right? And the actual cheapest point was when everybody was selling. And then after that, the, the uh, switch flipped. Everybody turned around and went out and bought him. So that's why you saw those movements on Neymar and Ronaldo and Messi specifically yesterday on this game. It was just so much of panic selling, panic selling. And then, of course, everybody who sold also wants to turn around and go buy that card back up for the weekend league team. So you see that demand go crazy, crazy high, and these cards sky back up. Neymar went to 2.7, exploded to 3.3, and he's in packs, right? The craziest thing is these cards are in packs, but their pack weight is just so, so low, even lower than expected, and I think that is why you're seeing these prices um, shoot back up. Now, these prices are not going to last. I don't think they're going to last at all. People knowing these cards are going to be in packs for two weeks, they're going to sell them probably. Some people will keep them for their end game teams, but I do think that most will sell. Messi was 1.1 mil earlier today. He was literally 1.1 mil flat earlier today. Now he's up at 135, selling at 1.4 even. So I do think that some of these card prices are going to come back down in price. Um, and again, I really just think that because you continue to see, like we looked at Modric, right? We looked at this Modric graph, 220K for this card is just mental for me. I mean, you look at this drop off and you see that the card is just continually declining in price. Yesterday, he was 350K, just dropping, dropping, dropping. He hasn't rebounded literally at all since he's been re-released back into packs. I know the La Liga Weekend League is in hype, but his Real Madrid links. He links to Ramos, which so many people have, the, the flashback, end of an era Ramos. It's crazy to see just how much these guys have dropped off and how much, how little demand there is and how much supply there is. Again, I keep looking at Havertz. I keep looking at Griezmann because these are some of the most rare cards that are in packs with the, the path to glory cards are really rare. 280 for Havertz, just chilling, right? Griezmann being 200,000 coins. These guys are rare, man. And they're just they're just sitting at these incredibly low prices, uh, which is insane to see. So I do think that you could see some of these rise back up a little bit in the morning on Saturday, but it's just going to be based off of rarity, based off of people wanting to buy them. Uh, keep an eye on Paredes, keep an eye on Verratti and some of those League One cards, because that's where a lot of the hype is going to be coming this week, I think. One, two, four for Vinicius. No way. No shot. That's so cheap. Anyways, just keep an eye on, on some of those League One cards, because I think that could be a spot where a lot of people this week, since it's kind of like that, the last league that everybody expects to be focused on, I think some people are going to start buying into that as we head out of the weekend league. Of course, people are already starting to do that now. So watch the Paredes. Watch the variety. Those are the main two cards I would keep an eye on because a lot of people are going to be looking to buying into some of those and your League One Tots cards, right? Because a lot of these guys are in batch three in packs, right? You get guys like Memphis Depay. He is in packs. You've got Di Maria right here from League One who is in packs. I packed De Young yesterday from like an 85 times 10, right? He's in packs. Uh, ben Yedder is in packs. Bamba is in packs. So a lot of these Tots cards are, again, back and getting supplied um but when weekend league sell-off does of course come you'll see some more people looking to invest in those to see them rise throughout the week so 
Again, the market's kind of crazy, right? Everything is just so cheap. Again, it's just so far to the end of the game that if you want to use a card, go out and have fun. Who cares about losing coins in the stage? Yes, it's very easy to make coins. I would be on bids 100 100% I'd be on bids on some of these cards like this Gomez was 115k yesterday when the content dropped didn't buy it he was a good flip though he went all the way back to 170 180 which he actually is still there so he actually went low and rebounded and stuck with the price probably because with those links to Acuna people packing Acuna wanting to link him that's why I think you're seeing that card stay up in price but Again, a mental day yesterday on Friday. It's probably going to be a fun day on Saturday. I hope they bring the content. I hope they bring the hype. And again, EA Sports, Renato, man, bring that Renato SBC. That would be a lot of fun. So what I want to know down in the comments, though, is if you saved any packs, I want to know what you got. Of course, I've got one more. I'm going to be saving that for Sunday, hoping for a big time pull from it. But we packed some insane cards yesterday on the stream. Make sure you check the Clips channel to see a few of those pack pulls. It was dope, right? It was really, really dope and a lot of fun but let me know down in the comments about that and of course if you did enjoy this video smash the thumbs up on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate foot accountant i will catch you guys later peace out